Welcome back to Quesse Friday Fight Night. The wonderfully entitled A Fistful of Dollars from the International Conference Center here in Harare, Zimbabwe. Barry, fantastic first fight to open the card. Fantastic first fight, and uh, the crowd certainly enjoyed it because uh, it turned out to be a brawl at times. Uh, but when they boxed, they certainly showed us uh, something. Obviously, uh, Revai Madondo getting the win there, finally getting a win. Now her, her record looking much better than it was. Absolutely. Let's have a look for the tail of tape for our next fight between a, a girl that I think might go places, Patricia Apollo versus the very, very dangerous Chita Omokoma from Zimbabwe. Let's have a look at the weigh-in from yesterday for these two ladies. As you can see, Patricia in just amazing shape. Amazing shape. And, and the one thing with that uh, being a kickboxer helps her is that her leg strength is fantastic. Now, people will wonder what leg strength assists with is that she, her punches are going to have amazing power. Look at her traps. She is are you jealous of those traps? <laughs> oh, I'm my jealous. God. She is in phenomenal shape. No, she is in phenomenal shape. Again, if this goes the distance, well, you got to back up a load, don't you? And you just never know about this. Jita Homokomba, she, she, her first three fights were draws. Yeah. She then takes on the very experienced Mona Lisa Simbanda. Mona Lisa was a clear favorite, and she won, stopped her in the second round. And obviously claimed the vacant Zimbabwean female lightweight title, so you never know. I, I, I was here, I was with her for that fight, and it was phenomenal. She exploded in that second round, and in truth, deserved to win. All right, let's go to our MC of the night, Hugo Ribatika, to introduce both fighters for us. Thank you, gentlemen. For those of you that are just joining us and came in a few minutes ago, thank you for joining us here at the Harada International Conference Center, where we give you Kwese Friday Fight Night. Coming up is our second bout, and this is an international female lightweight bout over eight rounds. Fighting out of the blue corner from Uganda, Patricia Appelot. Here comes Patricia Appelot from Uganda, actually now based in Hungary, um, trained and managed by her partner. You're gonna see him behind her now. A former kickboxer, a national Ugandan kickboxing champion who crossed over to boxing and so far is perfect. Four fights, four wins, and she'll try and make it her fifth today. She will, and we talked about her shape. You'll see it when she takes off her, her, her top and is ready to box. She's she's in some shape, and Patricia Homakomba, uh, she enters Homakomba, isn't careful with this one. She went over the top rope, and that just shows you that she's, she's got ability. She's done a Prince Nassim Hamid, and she jumped over the top ropes. She's got to win now. She's got to she's win. She's got to win now. You can't do that and lose. You can't you do that and can't. lose. There she is, 27 years old, weight 61, height 160. They're, they're very evenly matched. That's going to be a great fight. And her, her opponent, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner from Zimbabwe, Chiedza Homokoma. I, I would say I'm surprised by the crowd reaction, but I'm not. They really do support their local fight, which is fantastic. They really do. And uh, Chiedza Homokoma, since that fight where she stopped Mona Lisa Savanda, her level of support has grown in Zimbabwe. And now the fans know that she's got some ability. She can do job this one. I feel like this is going to be a war. I've got the feeling this is going to be something a bit special. Coming into Cardi B. Do you like a bit of Cardi B? Cardi B. And you're coming to Cardi B. Go over the top rope. I'm not sure who shades in here because you can't come in to Cardi B and then lose. Yes, yeah, it's real. Need to check if her boots have got red bottoms. Yeah. <laughs> Introducing our boxers uh, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of uh, four fights, uh, four victories, and uh, two by way of knockout from Uganda, Patricia Apollon. And her opponent from Zimbabwe with a record of three fights, one win, zero losses, and two draws. Popular by most Zimbabwean standards, Chieta, the Queen Tiger, Homa Koma. Your referee, ladies and gentlemen, 
proposes about is uh, Diana Makumbe. The judges Jokonya Kingston, Francis Nendere, and Eswell Ndlovu. I think we're going to have a good fight with this one. I, I really do. I just... Homokomba just seems so confident. I mean, look, Patricia Apollo, we know is a good fight, but Homokomba, you're right, that, that win against Simbanda has raised not only her profile, but her confidence as well. This could be a good one. It certainly has. This is going to be a good one. And uh, in terms of conditioning, I think uh, certainly Apollo shades it. Apollo shades the condition to every single person on this card. <laughs> every man on this card, she shades it. Including, including the commentary team. In <laughs> and Definitely the commentary team. Especially the commentary team. No, honestly, it, I mean, if you get awards for being in shape, then she's won every single award here tonight. But you don't. And I feel like she's a homokomba. You never know. I mean, you never know. Yeah, um, the surprise element is a big thing in boxing and any sport, to be, to be honest. And she's got that. Nikita the tiger, the, the queen tiger, they call her. And certainly, she has a homokomba. Has got the surprise element. So it'll be interesting to see how she approaches one. Because she knows she's facing a fighter who's well conditioned. Okay, let's see if we can listen into the ref. My commands are all the time. If I say stop, you stop. So I say break, you break. Protect yourself. Think you all break to your corners and break. Okay, I didn't hear, but I'm going to translate. Good fight. Good best woman here. I'm glad you speak referee. All right, here we go. Eight rounds in the lightweight division. Box. Chita Hobakomba in the red and black from Zimbabwe. And Patricia Apollo what? now facing Hungary, but from Uganda in the white and black. Let's see what these ladies can do. I'm expecting a good one here. Corners are uh, realizing that they need a counter for that because if they don't, this will be a fairly short fight. Good little punch down for Jabba. She moves out of the pocket. Good little right hand. They stare at each other there for a few seconds. A very, very good first round. Very interesting, very entertaining. Uh, a lot more boxing in this one. And you can see that both corners have thought about a strategy in this fight and are trying to implement it. But the thing is, it's a counter strategy that's going to get them over the line. Agreed. Have a look at some of the action from the very, very first round here. I feel like if they get into a brawl, a brawl is going to favor Hombakamba all day. Most certainly. And you'll find that I think uh, Apollo is going to try and control the ring as she was doing in that first round. Keep the center of the ring and keep Hombakamba moving because she reckons that if they go the distance, if they go deep into this fight, she's got more conditioning, better conditioning than Hombakamba. Hombakamba will get tired and that opening will open up. Here we go, round 
round number two of this eight round fight between Chita Hobokomo and Bisha Apolo from Uganda. I, I actually believe that Hobokomo could have won that first round. She could have. Yeah. And here we go, the controlled action of Apolo. Just going on physique, you must get the beat in the Apollo to be stronger. I, I think Homo Combo is a stronger It looks like that. Every time they engage and both land punches, it seems like Apollo doesn't really want to engage. Box. No, she doesn't. And it looks like it's a win of Apollo with the blows. Like that one. They do some damage. I have a feeling. Apollo just pointed something out there that almost, as if to say, Abakoma doesn't have a gum shield. I'm not quite sure what to see, but she seems to ask the ref about it, and the referee kind of dismissed it. Oh, she definitely does have it. She has it. She has it. I wonder what she's complaining or talking about. That right hook is missing. But I'll tell you now, if one of those lands, it's good night nurse. Yeah. One thing with Obakoma, she looks very composed, look at her. Very composed. Very, look, she's enjoying herself. Look, she's smiling. And, and normally with boxers, once you know your opponent's power, when you know you can take it, you, you don't mind being on the floor. And I feel like she's felt Apollo's power, and she's not too afraid of it. She, she's not too afraid of it. And she's just trying to protect herself and cover herself. And is able to obey anything that Apollo is throwing at her. Apollo, for the experience of the two, looks very ragged here. I, I expected a more technical fight from Apollo. shaded that round as well because lots of swinging from Apollo but she's missing a lot too Again, good action in the second round. Omakoma definitely looks, I think, the more composed of the two. And, and I think she's a right hand away from causing real damage here. Absolutely. Like we said, that right hand, if that lands, I think it's going to be good night for Chieta Omakoma. And then also, you look at the two fighters in their corners now. Apollo dancing to the music that's playing. Chieta Omakoma sitting on her stool. So you got to think to yourself, in terms of conditioning, Apollo has no problems. But she's going to need to land some telling blows or on points. This goes the distance. Momba Komba might just shade this fight. Yeah, you're right. It was almost, she was almost playing like a psychological game with her there. Saying, look, I'm fit. You're not. I'm going to stand. And, and you're, you're on your feet. If it goes to eight rounds, then you're in trouble. Will it go eight rounds is the question. The question is... Is one of those right hooks going to land from Apollo? Because if it does, I will. Oh, there was one there. Landed again a big one as well there as Apollo. Oh, landed! Homokoma definitely took a step back there. She realizes she's in a fight now. But she's still dangerous as Homokoma. She's still there. She's still dangerous, but Apollo's landing some big ball. Sw swing and a miss there. Here it goes again. That right hook, it's missing now. But I'll tell you, it's just going to be one. One landing. And this fight could well be over. Patricia Apollo really does need to set a punch up. She needs to use that jab. She's not used it all night. She's got to set a punch up. You can't be throwing that right hand. It's so telegraphed. It's easy for Homokomo to avoid. Yeah, and you see, the thing is, as you, as you point out, the fact that it's very telegraphed and it's coming from so deep, almost coming from behind her, Almost coming from behind her, Homakomba is able to see it coming and duck. Now what Homakomba is then doing is that her counter punching is then hurting Apollo. Homakomba is very naughty. I don't know if we saw that. We got a replay. Holding Apollo. Of Apollo. Was that a slap? Was that a slap? Of Apollo. Was that a slip? I thought that was a knockdown. I want to see that again. I think Apollo was pointing out that she slipped. 
There was no standing eight count. Nothing from the referee at yeah. all, but... I don't know. Oh, another big one from... Amakumbo's landing some big punches here. And I, think, I, don't know. I think she's felt a few of those punches. Oh, big one. Big right hand for Apollo. Oh, pass of the bell. To be fair to her, you can't really hear the bell here with all the noise. I didn't hear the bell, so in truth, she had every right to carry on fighting. Can't hear the bell. She's laughing with her corner as Apollo. I think she's she's loving this. She's starting to enjoy it a little bit. I don't know how you can enjoy this, but she's enjoying it. Did you hear a bell ring? I didn't hear a bell. It's very difficult. Well, back to the replays. And like we said earlier, she's got to jab a little bit more with that left set up her fight. Oh, no, that was, that was a knockdown. That was a knockdown. That was a knockdown. That was clearly a knockdown, Merritt. That should be a 10 8 round. But Hopper Combo, that was a knockdown, clearly. Absolutely. She's got away with that as Apollo, and the referee should be more on it, really. Yeah. The referee was in a good place and position and still didn't see that. She has a Hopper Combo sitting at every time that she goes to her corner. Looking, still looking confident. Doesn't look like a hair that she's ragged in any way. Apollo standing again. Honestly, I think we might have to visit Apollo in the gym tomorrow and understand how fit she is because she stands in between rounds. It's like this is nothing. Not interested at all. Yeah, not interested. Because she's, she's, she's putting us to shame. She, she really will speak for yourself, aren't she? I, I still have what I need to do. Watch your move, watch your move. Round four of eight here. Remember, two minute rounds for female boxing. And Apollo started this round as she ended, I think, on the last round. Oh, she's landing big blows here. Sometimes I don't know if Humba Combo is... I don't know if she's hurt from time. It's very difficult to see. Very difficult to see. Yeah. Yeah. The, the one thing I've noticed now is that we were yeah. commentating yeah. Humba Combo yeah. all yeah. the time. Yeah. There's a counter now coming from Apollo. Yeah. And she's, she's, she's giving her that, that uh, uppercut. It's landing quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Apollo yeah. 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 has never yeah. 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 And if they do have a fight, then she can have all those big punches out. I think for Apollo Combo for this for you now. I think Holba Combo is hurt. Yeah, she's hurt. Because her guard, her guard is down. Yeah, she's trying to hide it with some short bows here, but yeah, it's hurt. Yeah. Those punches from Apollo, I think, is going to take their toll. Yeah. And she's probably going to need a big haymaker to kind of turn this one around. I think Apollo is going to enjoy it a little bit as well. Better from Apollo, a jab. Finally, we're seeing a jab. Again, she tries to throw it. Last 20 seconds of round number four. Apollo Combo is hurt, but she's still there. And while she's still there, she's still dangerous. And she's going to have to counter this because Apollo, I believe, has shaded this round. There's lots to do here. Yeah, I agree. I feel like Apollo will lose this fight. Not on anything else but fatigue. I think Apollo is just a fitter of the two, and it's pretty obvious to see. Fitter of the two. Well, we heard the, we heard the bell on that one. Yeah, the bell banged a lot louder that time. Doesn't take any water. She's certainly much better. You can ask her when you go to her gym tomorrow. I'm not joining you. And um, that was a lie. I'm checking out of that. She just, she's obviously extremely fit. And you wonder if she's the kind of woman that would love to fight three minute rounds rather than two minutes. Absolutely. Big blow. Just, oh, another big right hand from Apollo. She's starting to land that right hand now. She's more going straight with it rather than swinging it. She's turned it, she's turned it a little bit into, into a jab, more so than the hook that we were seeing earlier. Yeah. And I feel like she's getting more power for it, rather than 
of big window punches. We talked about the power in those legs. We talked about the conditioning in her legs. This is where it's going to carry her because she's able to stand strong, get a low center of gravity, and throw that jab, and it's going to do some damage to her. Yeah, you're right. I think uh, the technique is so important in boxing. As strong as Homokonga is, because she doesn't throw her punches right, she loses a lot of power. Apollo now is really starting to turn that body with those punches and generate a huge amount of power. And I think that's what's telling her in this fight. I think that's why she's probably going to go on to win. Again, though, I wouldn't want to be a judge scoring this one. Uh, this one's another one. I can't lie. I'm looking at it now and I'm quite envious of that. Here's Homakomo looking completely the opposite. Yep. Um, doesn't want to be there. Could Tired. think of many places she'd yes. rather be. Here we go. Round number six of this eight round fight here. Patricia Apollo from Uganda in the white and I'd, I'd call it dark blue and Homokoma in the red. That's not. Oh, Apollo wants to end Apollo it. Apollo wants to end it. I think Homokoma is almost doing a last stand here. She is. Referee needs to break this up. But Apollo is is sure that she's got Homokoma on the proverbial and metaphoric ropes and wants to end this fight. Look, credit to Homokonga. Um, she, she's still there, still throwing punches. And, and you, you got, I mean, we, we obviously talk about Apollo's fitness, but even Homokonga, you've got to be fit to be in there. You do. It's not easy. Even though they're two minute rounds, you've got to be really fit. And to take some of the punishment that exactly. she has. So she's still standing. It's credit to her. But the, leg, the legs are definitely gone now. The legs are gone. The, the punches are labored. It's a matter of time. Now. It is. And you really, if you're Apollo and you're her corner person, you've got to tell her just a bit more pedal to the metal and you can get her out. You get, certainly. I think that was a discussion earlier because she exploded in this round, but it's sort of taken her foot off the pedal again. Agreed. And uh, seems you've played with her opponent. I mean, you wonder if Apollo's tired. I mean, all those muscles do carry a lot of lactic acid. It doesn't, uh, and, and, and you wonder if she's starting to feel the pace as well. And, and you can you can you can yes, see it in the way that she's throwing the punches now. She's feeling the pace of it. Obviously, she wants to put that, that strong demeanor across. 
because it's a facade that she's made. Yeah. But that punch was, was, was easily telling that Apple 02 is feeling the pace of this. The referee, no, no, the referee's got to even have, have a word from Homakomba or, or take a point away. She, she's constantly holding now. No, 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 the crowd's ended. It's still on the hold. It's, it's to keep herself upright. Her legs are gone. She's got nothing left in the tank. And in truth, Absolutely. the ref could have and should have stepped in in the last round, never mind this round. Yeah, no, absolutely. And this is the explosion at the start of the round where Apollo came out, fast out of the blocks, and tried to finish it. And they realized that Hombakomba still has a little bit about her. Oh, we got uh, we got uh, off screen at the moment. We got Apollo taking her first drink of water in this entire fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Apollo has taken a sip of water. That's big news. That is, that is big, big, big news. news. If we go another round, does she sit down? Does she possibly, sit down? Possibly. I think the bookmakers will be taking money on that. <laughs> you know, but, but while. Oh, McConnell is still there. You never know. Why is she still you there? You never know. And You've seen the power in her last fight against Monalisa Samanda. She can definitely punch. Ah! And you never know. She's still there. All it takes is one telling blow. And everything swings in the other direction. Absolutely. Nikita, the Queen Tiger, they call her on the combo. One thing these ladies do have in common, both of their favorite fighters are Leila Ali. Muhammad Ali's daughter, obviously, is a world championship boxer in the late 90s and early 2000s, is their favorite fighter. And I guess she was almost a springboard for a lot of these girls here to start fighting. Indeed, she was, she was like the, the, the first real superstar fighter, as Agreed. it were. And so, um, you know, similar to what, what Michael Jordan did for basketball, Tiger Woods for golf, Serena Williams for women's tennis, that, uh, Leila Ali was the same, and so it's not surprising that they all draw inspiration from her. You, you, you just named and reeled off some amazing athletes there. <laughs> Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods. Wow. Don't forget Serena Williams. Oh, oh you know what? I, I've, I've said this. I'm going off topic now. I think Serena Williams is the best athlete of all time. I agree with you. No argument. No more effort. Referee finally gets both of them a warning. Taking seven rounds and she does it. Crowd is starting to chant here. They want a rally. But she's being caught. Is oh my God, every time she comes in and throws punches, she gets caught. Again, a very, very spirited effort from her. But the holding, the holding is 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 what's keeping her in this fight because she's able to breathe, recover, and then try and get that last burst. And you can look at, you can see it that Hombakomba knows that she's done, but she's trying to land that one punch. The corner of Patricia Abner finally didn't have to push, push. Oh, 10 seconds left in round seven. It's going to be too late to do anything. So we are going to a round eight. And if, if I'm honest, I didn't expect the round eight from the way Hombakomba looked in round five. In truth, we didn't expect it, but Hombakomba managing to make it to the eighth round, and that's credit to her. But I would say, on the balance of, of this fight, Apollo shading it for me. Do, 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 I was about to ask you, do, do you think Apollo's winning the fight convincingly? Will the I, judges see it any other way? I would say so. And uh, on the basis that there was, there was a period round about the fifth round where Apollo came out and started boxing. And that's when she was landing the telling blows. And that, those are the ones that counted. And I think if there's, if there's any round that's going to deliver for her, it will be the fifth or the sixth round that give her the fight. Yeah, no, absolutely. You're right. Even, even, even if the rounds have been close, Apollo has just done more. And, and all the holding from Hombokomba as well has been a bit annoying. It has. And I think, uh, listen, the judges are human. And so their scoring also is going to be colored by that. But Apollo has come out, been very uh, controlled about her, 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 her movements. Yeah, I, I can't believe what I just saw. I think the referee went to the corner of Apollo and said, you need to stop holding. I think, uh, I think she got the wrong fighter. I there. think she has got the wrong fighter. Um, it's very easy to tell the difference between the two athletes. She can't really <laughs> get this wrong, can she? Very easy. So that was surprising. Here we go, round number eight. And another okay. hold by the two ladies. Yeah. A, legit, a legitimate one that time. <laughs> and a touch of the gloves as well. Yep. That's as friendly as it gets. Now we go to war, hopefully, for the final round. Get out of that holding, and she could actually stop this, this, this fight at home. 
because she's landed some telling blows and have done some damage. Oh, big one as well. Took, took, the, took the head back of Homba Komba. She really is a strong woman to still be in there, taking all these punishments for, for eight rounds of punishment. Again, testament to her fitness and her strength as well. Certainly. She's taken some punishment. And like we said, Apollo looks like she shaded this. Oh my goodness. A big body blow there. Technique has gone out the window in this fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is now, as we say, a phone book fight. If you're watching for jabs and uppercuts and right hands, you're watching the wrong fight. That's how many things are just going to war in this last 20 seconds. Crowd have joined them as well. Both fighters out on their legs. They've given it all. This is what we like to see. Yeah, that's what I want to see. You can give everything. You don't want to go back to the change room knowing you could have given 10% more. You want to walk out of that ring absolutely exhausted knowing you've given everything you can. And both these fighters are going to be absolutely shattered. There goes the bell. Oh, what a fight by both these fighters. Now, honestly, both of them, very fit, great fight. I think Apollo shaded it, but we are in Zimbabwe. <laughs> oh my God, we're in Zimbabwe and fight now. I'm not saying anything, but you never know. You never know. Apollo has been well received by the crowd. And has been through her antics in the corner where she's been dancing and all sorts. Endeared herself to the crowd in fights of way. Here's some of the highlights from the final round, round number eight. Again, better boxing from Apollo. Better boxing. Better boxing. Better boxing. Better boxing. And so Apollo also showing, I think, different ways that she can box because even when they got into the phone booth, she was able to pull. When it came to the boxing, she was able to box. And Anderson, coming from a kickboxing background, you wouldn't expect it, but certainly fantastic effort by Apollo. That, that's a very good point you made. When they when they ruled, she ruled. When they box, she box. She can do everything. Unfortunately for Hobba Pomba, she can only brawl for now. She can't really box right now, but I think there's a bright future for Hobba Pomba. But she's definitely a strong woman, definitely courageous. The flags are out. But again, as in the previous fight, both fighters, none of them claiming the fight, just proud to still be in the squared circle and to have participated in such an epic brawl, an epic fight, needed to box, needed to brawl, did both with a flop. Again, it'll be interesting to hear the scorecards. We obviously at ringside think Apollo won it, but it's what you like. And if the judges like the style of Homokoma, then you never know. Absolutely. Could this possibly be the result that you called on the previous one? A draw? I, I think Apollo would be disappointed with a draw. I think she's done enough to win. She's unbeaten. She doesn't want a draw on her record. And, and, and I think she'll get the win. I'd agree with that. I think she'll be disappointed with the draw. I think she 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 believes she won this fight outright, not even shaded it. And I think it, in commentary as well, we're inclined to agree with her. I think Apollo certainly won this fight. Was landing the more telling blows, did more damage, and in truth, the fight should go to her. What a great crowd, by the way. Very mixed as well. Males and females, very mixed. Phenomenal crowd. They're getting involved, and that's what you need. All right, let's go to our MC. Hugo Rickabata with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have come to a decision. Judge one calls it 77-79. Judge two, 77-80. Judge three scores it 77-80. And the winner by unanimous points decision, Patricia! Apollon! There's Patricia Apollo. Um, do, do you think she's happy? <laughs> A little bit. Somewhat. But she looks ecstatic. She's absolutely loving it. That's what I love to see. Raw emotion. Yeah, raw emotion. Needed that win. Got the win. I think she's a happy woman. 
She is indeed. And 77-79, 77-80, 77-80. Turned out to be a little bit closer than we expected, but Apollo fantastic. Yeah. Here's some of the action from the fight. It really started off as a barnstormer and then kind of faded away. But fantastic fight. And Patricia Apollo with the big win. Obviously, she moves to 5-0 on her record. And she'll be hoping to get another another win very, very soon.